What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoon. And today I'm going to show you how to color a camouflage pattern. I drew up a picture of a girl here and I left this area, her pants, specifically blank. So I can show you guys how I color camouflage patterns and what steps I go through to illustrate this pattern. Okay, for this tutorial you're going to need a handful of yellowish greens and then a brown and a black. So I'm using some Copic markers. I'm gonna use YG95 for the base color. And then as a shade for this color, I'm actually gonna use a Master Touch marker. These markers are specifically found at Hobby Lobby and they're found individually. If you are using Copic markers, G94 could also work. But if you do have a collection of Hobby Lobby markers, the color I'm using is 43. And then as a shade for this base color, I'm gonna use G99. And then setting these aside, I'm gonna show you guys what colors I use for the pattern. I'm gonna use YG67, you're gonna need a green. The color of this green will kind of be somewhat different from these other greens that I showed you. We're gonna use a different green. I'm gonna use a dark brown. I'm gonna use E79. And then I'm gonna use a black. With that being said, I'm gonna zoom in on this area here and just get started with it. We're gonna take YG95 and just add a layer of marker on top of this entire area. Now that we got the base color out of the way, I'm gonna Go ahead and add my second tone, which is uh, this Master Touch marker. And the shades are going to be this way, so I'm going to add more shading towards this way. But I'm still going to add marker ink on this other side too, just so it'll kind of stand out. And then I'm just going to blend those two in. We can go in with our dark color, which is G99. And just add the darkest shades possible to it and keep in mind that we're still applying shading to the left side of the drawing and then now that we got that shade in we can go in and blend and like and sort of repeat the same process that we just did and now that we got that all colored, I'm going to give this a little bit of time to dry before we start adding the pattern. Because if we apply another colored ink to the ink that's already here and it's still wet, if you try to apply that uh, ink to the pattern, that ink that you're adding onto it kind of like overpowers the shading and then you've got to either replace your drawing or try to fix it in the best possible way and that's not what you're trying to go for so i would give this time to dry while we wait i can tell you guys about my new and improved patreon page i just relaunched my patreon page you can always sign up to be a patron today it's only five or ten dollars a month you can sign up to be on level one or level up and go to level two you can get super cool benefits like downloadables you can get sneak peeks at some of the pieces i'm working on you get first access to my upcoming videos and also have your art featured on my channel so like if i happen to make a draw my subscribers art video then your art will be featured on my video stuff like that you will get if you become a patron with cadillac cartoons today okay going back to creating the art before we go in to add the pattern i'm going to try my best to get more shading in just by using some colored pencil because if you apply the pattern now a lot of the shading won't be seen but you'll probably see in the final piece if the shading won't be like too much to see so that's why I'm going to try to get as much shading as I can in before going in to add to the pattern because once you add the pattern in you're going to stress yourself to find darker colors for each color that we're going to add because we're going to add like three colors towards the uh, pattern and it's going to it's going to be hard to find shades for each color if you do have a small collection of markers and you're going to stress yourself to find like three or four different markers to you know kind of get that shading in if you don't do it now so that's why it's best to do it before you add the pattern and then I'm just gonna go back, go back with this darker shade G99 and it's just the fact of layering with your markers just because since this ink dried it kind of lightened up a bit so there's a chance for me to add that same marker just you know layer on top of it to make the shading a little bit darker and then if you want you can go back in with that second mid-tone and kind of repeat the same process that we did over and then there we kind of enhance that shading a bit so it's not a lot of ink for us to dry so we can still go in with, the, with our patterns but only in like the lighted areas because this ink it may need time to dry depending on what paper you use 
So I'm gonna go in with my green mark. I'm gonna use YG67 for like one of the green spots that we're gonna use for the pattern. Just gonna add green spots. Kind of like the spots on uh, Patrick Starr's pants, something like that. And here's a tip you can use. You don't, you don't even have to use your dominant hand. What I mean by dominant is whatever hand you use to write with, you can use the other one for the pattern because there aren't any um, there aren't any specifics to doing this uh, this pattern. You don't have to add spots specifically here. You can go either or, and it doesn't have to be the same shape of the spots. It was kind of it was just my suggestion I just wanted to throw out to you guys. So you can honestly use your left hand if you're right-handed to do these pattern to do these patterns, but I personally don't want to. But just a just a little suggestion to throw out there for you guys. You honestly don't even have to do spots. You can do triangles or whatever, but this is a camouflage pattern specifically. So um most of the time you can go and do whatever. So I'm gonna just add green spots here and there. And it don't even have to be on the edges. You can also have them like right here in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to go in with my E79 and sort of connect the brown spots towards the green spots. And then you don't have you don't even have to make them the same size. You can make them bigger. You know, like I said, you could I didn't say this earlier, but you can probably freelance it. It's up to preference. You can make spots there. And then I'm going to add some, a few spots here. And now I'm going to go in with my darkest color, the black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to connect the, both the green and the brown spots together just by using black. Because I'm not going to use too much black throughout this piece. Just uh, find some places where, the, where you can connect a uh, black spot to the green and brown. Like here. Green and brown kind of like intertwine with each other. That's where I can put the black spots. Like right there too. And then here's a place here. And these spots that I'm adding, they don't need to have a specific shape, just need to be like, <laughs> just need to be here. That's just my recommendation. You don't have to go by what I'm saying, but yeah, more. Most of this tutorial, I'm just throwing out some suggestions. You don't really have to follow what I'm doing. Just, uh, just letting you know that. And there. So, like I mentioned earlier with the shading, we won't see much of it, but it's there. See, if, um... See earlier I mentioned it's good to add shading before you add the pattern. You can see some of the shading here with the brown, but it's going to be mostly green because I added colored pencil in here. And that's okay, you can leave it just like that. Or if you want to go even more precise, you can go in with like a darker brown marker or a darker brown colored pencil trying to blend that in to make it, you know, look nicer. But you don't necessarily have to, but with this green, 
which is other green for the pattern. You don't necessarily have to because they're the same hue. And then some of the shading is already in there, so you won't have to do anything with the green. But that's that. So anyway, that's it for the camouflage tutorial. Let me zoom back out so you can see the entire drawing. And so yeah, that's the final piece with this camouflage pattern. And I honestly think I should design characters with a camouflage pattern just to do effects like this because it looks so nice in this drawing specifically. Anyway, if you like this video and you find it useful, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I got my nigga like